When I was in grad school, my thesis was called The Trauma Smile, and the focus was on blackface characters, these stereotype images, and it always showed black folks smiling, grinning, no matter the situation they were in, and it just seemed like such a huge contradiction to the truth of what black people were really going through. So this is the first one. This is Trauma Eve, and this is Luxor DX, the two ro robots that started off the Trauma Smile legacy. I had taken these blackface characters and I empowered them. And for me, it was like empowering the black body. And I made these characters called the Trauma Smiles, which eventually turned into the Traumanauts, which were the astronauts. And their whole journey was a journey of healing to find a place where they no longer had to hide their inner truth of suffering with a grin. I guess it goes back to the rupture of continuity of culture through slavery and this sort of nomadic wake that we had to deal with because there isn't much that was offered to us while being slaves and then after being freed we were not offered anything again so we pretty much had to take on our own sense of healing and reflection and survival in very severe ways and in pluralistic ways but our resilience as a people is pretty extraordinary. And for me, the Traumanauts were dealing with a sense of healing, not so much about what they can get from anyone else, but how they could find their own sense of well-being. They're timeless, so there's no beginning or end, but that there are middles, there are these otherworldly states where they would either be in a spaceship or floating around, or being in a what I consider a non-real space but it was also a kind of like emotional space. And I started really looking into dark matter, black holes, and this sense of this almost negative connotation of the unknown. And for me, the black body or African-American culture seemed to also have some of these peripheral hidden traits. And so to think of dark matter was also to think about dark people, the black body. SF MoMA owns what I consider one of my last Traumanaut paintings. It's called The Black Hole in the Traumanaut's Uncertain Journey. And it's basically a self-portrait of me as a Traumanaut about to enter the spaceship. And then I get in the ship and I go through the black hole that's on the top of that painting and I come out an abstract painter. It's said that when you go through a black hole, light doesn't escape, you become so distorted and stretched in such a way that it's just incomprehensible. You're just, you're just blown apart. And strangely enough, that's generally what happened when I became an abstract painter. The paintings that I'm making are a conversation about life and about black culture and about pushing abstraction further, but it's also finding a place of relief in some sense, even though there might be ingredients of trauma and beauty and hardship and texture and light and dark. Those traumanauts were dealing with that. The idea of empowering the black body by representing it in these institutions or in places where people get to embrace them and read them and interact with them is a way to say, this is our conversation. And this is the stuff that we think about, you know, um, we're human too. <laughs> so good. Thanks.